Hi, I'm Mike Nicoletti with Link Studio Technology. We're here at NAMM 2024, first day of NAMM, super excited. Uh, a lot of people have come through our booth already this morning and it's only day one. I'm here with Gearspace and we're gonna be talking about our Aurora N converter. So Aurora N has been shipping for a little while, but uh, what we do is we keep putting out new modules for it. So uh, the main thing about the N is that it is a few very cool things about it. First of all, it's a single rack space. You can have anything from eight analog I.O. channels all the way to 32 I.O. in a single rack space. No fan, completely quiet. You can have it in the control room right next to your desk and uh, it won't make any noise whatsoever, we promise. But that's one of, the, one of the options that you can do is up to 32 channels. We also have a digital module for AES in and out. We have ADAT in and out. Um, and as far as the uh, computer connectivity, we have USB, we have Thunderbolt 3, we have Dante. Uh, and we are shipping our Dante cards with the new Brooklyn 3 chip, so that's very exciting. We just got those in. And uh, one of the things that are on the front panel here that's also been very popular is our micro SD card slot. So you can record up to 32 channels directly to the micro SD card and have it as a confidence recorder. So just in case anything happens with your DAW, not that that ever happens, but if anything happens while you're recording, uh, especially in a live situation where you only have one chance to capture everything, you can use this as your confidence recorder. Uh, people are also using the SD card for pre-show playback as well. Could, you can run out of that right off, right out of the, uh, the line outputs as well. We have some various modules as well. We have some monitor modules. We have the LMA4, which is four monitor outs on TRS balance. We have a LMA24, which has those four outputs, but also adds two inputs. So let's say you're using all 16, you have, maybe you have a 16 channel unit, you go in all 16 channels to a summing mixer, you're coming back in, you need two additional channels to lay back to the DAW, you can use the two inputs. The, uh, line in and out on those monitor boards are exactly the same as a standard analog in and out, so you don't lose any quality with those modules. And one of the things that we announced, actually the last NAM show, but we're going to we're bring it up again at this show, is that we're full, fully Dolby Atmos compatible as well. So if you have an Atmos rig uh, and you're using, let's say, Sonarworks or Room EQ Wizard and you do your all the room uh, calibrations, they generate a text file. We will import that text file for you, immediately write it to the hardware so you don't have to manually enter all the filters. We just import that text file, immediately get it into the hardware, and it's stored in there until you make your own change. So that's been very exciting. Every Aurora NNet shipping with the latest firmware is already Atmos ready. You don't have to do anything. It's, it's, and if you have an older N with older firmware, all you have to do is download the free firmware and you're Atmos ready. All you need is a lot of speakers <laughs> and you're all ready to go. So.